What's up, everybody? Donnie B. Learn Pro Recording. You know the site that not only shows you how to do a little recording, but more importantly, and just as important, how to get paid for it. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I made a subkick microphone out of an old speaker. Doesn't have to be a good speaker, doesn't have to be a bad speaker, doesn't have to be a big speaker, doesn't have to be a small speaker. Any speaker will work. A microphone is just a speaker working backwards. So I'm going to show you that stuff right now. Let's take a look. Hey, so today I want to show you how we're going to make a subkick microphone from an old speaker. This happens to be a NS10 driver that I replaced in one of the cabinets in one of the studios. And uh, today we're gonna make a, uh, this is a Yamaha NS10 driver. And today we're gonna make a sub kick microphone from that. I'm gonna show you how to do it and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. So all you need is a speaker. It doesn't have to be an NS10. This one just happens to be an NS10. Uh, it could be any, any, any speaker really. Uh, we're gonna wire it backwards so that it acts like a microphone instead of a speaker. This is another one that I've already made. And I actually put this one in a nice little frame. This one we've used for years on, on a lot of productions. Uh, a lot of productions that you know, you've probably heard, which actually is another NS10 driver. I just happened to put it in a frame with the XLR connector here. You don't have to do that. Just a raw speaker will be fine. I'm gonna show you how to mount it and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. So all you need is the speaker, a hot soldering iron, preferably hot, some solder, and uh, an XLR connector. This happens to be a male XLR connector that I cut off of a broken cable. And all I did was take the, the cold leads and put them together with the ground. I took the, there's normally three, right? I took the cold, put it together with the ground, and then the hot. So what, we're gonna wire this one backwards though. We're gonna take the cold lead and put it onto the hot side of the speaker. We're basically wiring the speaker backwards. So make sure your thing is hot. Make sure your uh, soldering iron is hot. And if you haven't soldered before, it, solder is really forgiving. It's not a big deal. All you gotta do is heat both parts up until everything melts together. And then when it fuses, you'll see it. It kind of turns to a different color, like right there. So there you go. It's, it's really super simple. You just heat up the both parts till they melt and then let it go. And then that's pretty much it. Now you're done. What I like to do too is take a wire tie and I will make a strain relief and use one of the holes in the speaker as a strain relief. So I'll take a wire tie, run it through here, and put it on to the, just kind of, you know, so it keeps the cable from, from keeps the cable from pulling off of the solder joints. In case you're like me and some of your solder joints aren't, uh, aren't perfect. I never said I was a soldering person. So there you go. Now what we're gonna do, so we come over here and I'm gonna show you how that we, uh, I'm gonna show you how I mount it and then we'll see how it sounds. Okay, for mounting our new Subkick microphone, it's basically, again, just a speaker that I've wired backwards. I have a, a small snare stand that I got on Amazon for, I think it was like 29 bucks or something, but uh, it's by uh, Pulse. And it's small enough to just hold the, hold the speaker in place while we, uh, while we set things up. I'm gonna show you how we do that. We just kind of put the snare stand on like that. And then we put it close to the drum, not too, not too close, maybe four, three or four inches away. We don't want to get too much air hitting on that microphone. Now we're just gonna, we're just gonna plug the microphone in and then we're gonna go into the room and see what it sounds like. Hey, hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully it's something new for your studio. And you had another microphone in your arsenal. So there you go. Maybe you noticed in the end, I added that, that high cut filter, low pass filter, however you want to call it. But, you know, that takes out some of that other stuff in there that you don't really need. Now you blend that with the mic on the, that's on the inside. You got something special, ladies and gentlemen. I think you're going to enjoy it. Something else I think you might enjoy. We got something coming up. It's going to be amazing. Get on the wait list. Get on the wait list for the webinar that's coming up July 15th. I have put a date on it, July 15th, 6 p.m. It's gonna be live, it's gonna be free, and get there. This is what it looks, this is what the screen looks like. You'll go there, 
sign up real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you some things, tips and tricks, things you could do to start your business, run your business, uh, succeed at your business, thrive at your business. And one day, imagine, imagine if you will, you could do this for your living. Would this be cool? I mean, all that you, you, you guys that follow me for a minute, you guys know if you haven't followed me for, for a minute, go look at some of my other videos. This whole place started on my laptop in my dining room. Yeah, my wife was a little aggravated, but I got it done. And this is how this whole business started. That was 19 years ago, ladies and gentlemen. I've been doing this for 19 years in my own studio, in my building. I'm going to share with you my tricks and tips on how to get started, how to get going, how to how to succeed and how to thrive. That's what this webinar is all about. I really want to help everybody learn how to do this for a living because this is amazing. And, and part of my job now is that I am to give back and help the next generation come up and learn how to do this as an art. We got something extra special coming up on the 24th of July. You guys do not want to miss this. I'm not going to talk about it right now, but just trust me when I say you're going to want to be a part of the live streaming thing on July 24th. Kind of put a little pencil mark on your calendar because you don't want to miss it. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me on a Monday. My name is Donnie B. I'm out of here. Peace.